the children that I do not currently have relationships with, I don't post about them. Instead, I post about the children with whom I do have relationships. Imagine that being your dad, very proudly and publicly saying that he loves his stepkids more than he loves his biological children, and continuing to trash, humiliate, embarrass, and spite his biological children publicly. Well, that's the story of Brian McKnight. But word on the street is that his new family is not giving him the satisfaction he hoped he would get. Okay, in the latest of Brian's shenanigans, he recently legally changed his name to Brian Kanoa Makoa to match his youngest son's name. And girl, he made that announcement on Instagram in a very petty way. He captioned his post, so proud to introduce our son, Brian Kanoa Makoa Jr. to the world with the release of my new album, Lovingly Created for Him, Jr. Because I am also proud to officially announce that I have legally changed my name to exactly match my legacies. My legal name is now Brian Kanoa Makoa McKnight Sr. McKnight Time Lullabies, the songs of a father to his namesake, available now. Wasn't it enough that Brian publicly said that his son with Leilani was his one true legacy, yet he has other kids? And now he goes ahead and changes his name just to disassociate with his elder kids? I make absolutely no apologies for naming my infant son Brian. I want him and the world to know that he is the one who is my true legacy. Of course the name change had fans dragging him and calling him wicked and vile for trying to disassociate himself from his four eldest children whom he has from previous relationships. One person even wrote in response to the name change, I've never seen anyone proudly demonstrate how much they hate their children like Brian McKnight. Changing his name to match the new baby when he's already got a junior is next level cruel. He's a trash human being for not only doing it but also putting it on display to the world. And another person was like, like, Brian McKnight is so wicked. He changed his last name to McCoa McKnight so he could name his newborn Brian McCoa McKnight Jr. when he already has a son named Brian McKnight Jr. IDK, how much more wicked one can be? You know, when people say that this man has been spiteful, it's not just been about him changing his name. First of all, Brian only acknowledges the kids he has with Leilani and has even put his stepkids' names in his bio and left out his other children. The fact that he intentionally said in his bio that he is the father to his stepkids and his last born and not his other children made it very clear that it was a purposeful jab at his other children. There was also a time when he visited his stepdaughter Julia at the University of California, Santa Barbara, and he posted a video of her at the beach house where she lived with friends saying, Jules, I became a girl dad because of you and I couldn't have asked for a better daughter. Brian then finished his post by adding, here's to you, Jules, the perfect daughter I always wanted. Now, why would he say that his stepdaughter is the perfect daughter he's always wanted? It, yet he has another daughter. Can you imagine the look on Brianna's face when she saw a post from her dad saying that another girl is the perfect daughter he always wanted? Yo, that's insane. It's even worse considering Brianna said she previously reached out to her father in an effort to establish a bond, but she said that her dad dismissed her efforts. A couple of months later, she also wrote a post about growing up with an absent father on her Instagram, although she never mentioned Brian by name or provided any clues as to who he was. But part of it read, I'm not always happy and most of the time I'm battling my own demons just like everyone else. I grew up thinking that the things that happened to me and my dad's relationship was my fault. I grew up thinking that he doesn't want to come to visit me because he doesn't love me. Constantly put behind other kids that he would call his own while I'm cast into a land far, far away in the back of his mind. Now, when Brian was initially exposed by his kids for abandoning them, he took to social media to air out their dirty laundry and made things even worse. Anyone who knows me knows over the last 20 years, 30 years now as a matter of fact, that I've been there for my children every step of the way until recently. And let's be clear, my two sons are 30 and 27. Brian actually said that he never missed a child support payment, he never intentionally hurt them, and was always there when they needed him. In fact, he said that he even spoiled them. Well, he also admitted that he cut off Brian Jr. and Nico at the ages of 25 and 22, respectively, and claimed that after they left his home, he paid for an apartment for two years with the caveat that they had to get a job, which never happened. He also revealed that after he met his current wife, she tried to get jobs for his sons at the hospital where she is a doctor, but neither of them wanted to work there because of drug testing. He also said that Brian Jr. broke into their home and marked X's over the eyes of their wedding photos. And then he brought up his biological daughter, Brianna, and an alleged physical relationship she was having with a much older cousin. As far as my daughter is concerned, um, 
you know, her mother, if you look back at my Instagram, she was a part of this family too, with Jack and Julie and Leilani and myself. And unfortunately, along the way, a couple years ago, I got wind that there was an older cousin who was above 18, who was quite possibly having sex with her. That actually resulted in Brianna suing her dad, citing defamation. And in court documents, her dad asked her to identify all persons with whom she had contact of any kind prior to August 15, 2019. Further, he wanted her to describe each encounter she had, including the person involved, their age at the time, the place the encounter occurred, and the nature of the encounter, from kissing, holding, petting, and intercourse. He even wanted Brianna to identify all persons she referred to as a boyfriend prior to August 15th, 2019. Clearly, Brian just wanted to humiliate his daughter, which is something a father should never do. Oh, it didn't stop there because Brian later addressed the defamation case that was filed by Brianna and literally threw shade at his daughter for wanting more than words of apology and settling out of court for damages. And you will see that she did not ask for an apology or even ask that I remove the alleged false statement from the internet. All she asked for and all she wanted was money. Brian also again tried to justify why he has no relationship with his elder children and said their estrangement came from a mutual decision. According to Brian, typically he prefers not to give attention to the internet trolls, but now that his new family is being online and accosted in public, he has to speak out because apparently some people can't handle seeing his happily ever after. Mm, for someone who says that he prefers not to give attention to internet trolls, his actions have pretty much been screaming for attention and he's definitely gotten the attention of his kids again. Brian's other son, OG Brian Jr., previously said that he could not believe that their father straight up abandoned them by writing in a post, it's hard not to imagine the psyche of a man who can truly just turn his back on his actual sons, on his actual blood and creations. It's mind boggling to me. I don't think there is any situation that merits the way my father has chosen to treat my brother, my sisters, and his grandchildren, one of which being his firstborn's firstborn son, who also bears our name. It's insane to me. Well, with his father now legally changing his name to seemingly disassociate from them completely, Brian Jr. reacted to a comment saying he should change his name by saying, I'm not ashamed of the name my ancestors had. I'll never change the name my son now has. We are witnessing an obscene level of self-hate that has reached mental illness status at this point. In addition, Brian Jr. said that he will welcome his new sibling with open arms one day once he realizes who his real family is and concluded his message by saying, legacy isn't the name, it's in the character of the people. It will all be quite clear soon just who's on the right side of all this because there's no escaping what's coming. What's coming? What do you mean what's coming, Brian Jr.? Should we be gearing up for some messy truth? Or did Brian Jr. also get the rumor that his dad is not getting the satisfaction he hoped from his new family. Well, there have been reports that the only reason Brian is acting out the way he is has a lot to do with his new family. Allegedly, the picture perfect that they claim to be is far from truth, and he is just taking out his anger on his black kids. Guys, I personally wouldn't be surprised, but let me know what you think of now Brian K. Noah McCoa McKnight Sr.'s shenanigree. Do you think he's really happy with his new family? Has he started regretting how he treats his older kids and is only now projecting? Sound off in the comments section below and I'll catch y'all in my next video.